Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super happy you guys are here. And today we are doing a DIY project. And today's project is going to be this beautiful blanket and how to make it. So this blankets right now are pretty, they're everywhere right now and they're pretty popular. So these are like the chunky, like knit, I don't know what they call them, chunky knit chain fishnet kind of blankets. So I planned on picking up one from the store and I saw some YouTube videos on how to make it. So I decided, okay, let me try that first before just buying one. And let me tell you, it was definitely a bargain because this, this was made from four yarns and this cost me about $50. And I'm like, wow, I saved a lot of money. I love saving my coins. So I was super happy that I was able to do that. And I was super proud of myself. I was like, oh, you made a blanket. And yeah, so I decided that I will show you guys how to make this too if any of you were like interested in you know purchasing one of this kind of blankets just so you know that you can make it yourself. It's super easy. The only thing with the project is that it is definitely time consuming. So I would definitely suggest having some tea, having some wine on the side and maybe your favorite TV show or movie playing while doing this project. The main thing you're going to need for this project is going to be some yarn. And I'm using the Bernat Blanket Big. I hope I pronounced that right. So it's Bernat Blanket Big. And I picked this up from Michael's and they cost um, $11.99 for one. So you're gonna need about four pieces to do this project. And why I do suggest four is so you have a good size um, of blanket. So this is just more for like a throw on your couch or on your bed and four yarns would be perfectly, like it's the perfect size. So I'll say four yarns should be the minimum. This color is called Vintage White, and that's literally all you're going to need. So that's why I definitely suggested that, you know, you have something on the side and you're having fun while, you know, doing this project, because the only side to this project that you could say maybe it's a disadvantage is that it is time consuming. But I think it's definitely fun to make. And yeah, so I really did, enjoy making this blanket and we're gonna show you guys how to do that but before we go ahead into the video please don't forget to subscribe like my video and also follow my channel I would also like to you know see some comments below as to what you guys think about the blankets and if you guys definitely tried it definitely let me know if you did and also let me know some more content you would like for me to film and put up on my channel I would love to definitely go ahead and do that for you guys so yes let's go ahead and get this blanket going so okay. to begin this project the first thing you're going to do is create a knot right so this is the end of like not the end but this is the beginning of the yarn ball that we have right now and now we're just going to make a knot so to make the first knot you're just going to take your yarn you're going to go across like this and kind of make like an X there. And all you're gonna do is with the longer part of your yarn, so this is the longer part of your yarn, you're now gonna go ahead and pull that into the, the hole of the knot you just created. So this way, you're gonna go in, so my hand is there. Now go ahead and pull. And just get that nice and tight. And this is going to be your first knot braid. I don't know if I should call them knot braids, I'm going to call them knot braids. So this is going to be your first um, knot that you're going to make. To continue, all you're going to do is, so from that knot you just created, the whole of the knot, you're going to go in this way, your hands are right there. So what I, I kind of use my two fingers, these two fingers to kind of, this is the measurement of how big I want the knot holes to be. So that's it right there. So I'm going to use that like, let's say like a chopping stick and you're gonna go in and pull from the longest side of your yarn. You're gonna pull that up and you literally have your first kind of knot braid. As you can see, I hope this is clear. <laughs> this is like your first one. So you're gonna do the exact same thing. So again, using your hand like a chopstick, go ahead and pull. Then you have your second knot. So we're gonna be doing that till we have, you know, the desired um, length that we want. So I'm gonna do that one more time. So again, using like the two fingers, like a chopstick, again, this is the size that I want, pull, 
and there you have it so then you have like this beautiful braid starting and this is going to be like the end of your blanket so like I said we're going to continue doing this till we get you know the desired length you can measure it either with like you know a measuring tape however you would like some people also use like um, they count the the knot braids that's a way to measure I think what I would do is like I will count the knot braids let you guys know okay how many knots that I did if you guys wanted to use my exact measurements and that's literally it for the beginning part of this project like I said it is super easy it is also a project that is very forgiven so if you make any mistakes you can like take it right off let me just show you how easy that is you just do that take it right off if you make any mistakes so it's super easy that way and um, the only thing I would say with this project that you have to be careful with is how big you make the holes of the knot. It has to be the same. That is why I use these two fingers as a way to measure. So again, it just I just want these two fingers like to, like not too free. Let me see if I can show you. So just this is my measurement. So these two fingers, like a chopstick, just it can move up and down a bit. So that's how I measured it. And that way I can have um, the same size of hole as I'm going along creating the braid. So when we come to the final knot of the long braid that we just made, which is the bottom row for a blanket. To start a new row above, all you're going to do is this last loop that you made, make it go up this way, and you're going to go ahead with the longer part of your yarn and pull in another loop like that. So just like that. So now we've created the next row like that. So now to create the next loop, all you're going to do is in the bottom, you know, braid we just made, of course, there are going to be a bunch of holes, as you can see, because like you know, it's a braid. You are now going to go to the next um, loop there. You're going to put the longer part of your yarn, this longer part, you're going to push it under, and you're going to pull it out. So, just like that. Again, keeping in mind of the size, making sure that they're all the same size. I'm going to do this again. Just, so this is the next um, loop we have here, the next knot hole that we have in the braid. Again, taking the longer part, push it through underneath and pull right up. And there you go. We'll do that one more time. We have the loop or knot hole right here. We're gonna push the longer yarn under. We're gonna pull it to come right up. So, and there you have it. So now we've created the next row and that is what I'm going to continue doing. And like I mentioned previously, all you're going to do is start the next row now you're just going to take the longer part of the yarn and you're going to pull a loop right through and now we started the next row so we're going to go ahead and continue this process till we're done with our first yarn then once I'm done with this I will show you how to connect the next yarn which is super easy So now that we've come towards the end of the first yarn, all we're gonna do now is attach the next yarn. And how we're gonna do that is as simple as just tying a knot, as if you're tying like a shoelace or anything, just tie it that way. You're gonna do a double knot. So like that, you just wanna make sure it's nice and tight. And there it is. So that's all we do, we're doing, we're just tying 
a knot and we're going to then continue so for this little part that is right here it's going to get hidden in the loops and inside the woven blanket. So don't worry about that. You see that it's gonna get hidden as we continue. So this is where we tied the knot. As you can see, it's just right over there. And when we go and do the next row above, you're gonna see that it's gonna get hidden even more. Cause right now you can definitely see sticking out, but the time you do the next row above, you're not even gonna notice it anymore. And that's literally it when it comes to attaching the next yarn and you can continue to do that with as much yarn as you're using and you just continue to build i'm going to just flip it so you can see what it looks like on the other side so again like i said it that's where it is on the other side right there you can't see it poking out but like i said when we do the next roll you're going to not notice it as much and it's just going to blend into the whole blanket <music> Now I've come to the end of the blanket and I'm about to start the last row to end it. So for this last row to end it, we are, it's going to be similar to the first braid that we did when we started the blanket. And to do that, all you're going to do is, um, firstly, your last loop that you made, you're just going to make that a little bigger than every other loop, just a little bit that way. And you're gonna take again the longer part of your yarn. You're gonna make another loop in the second loop hole. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to feed the first loop you made into the second loop. So just like that, you feed it and you're gonna hold that. Then now you're gonna continue making a loop in the next row, which is the third row with the longer part of your yarn. You do that again. You're gonna now feed that one again. So as you're doing that now, you're now creating a braid again to end the row. So there's, that's just how you're gonna end the blanket. So I'm just gonna continue so you can see. So again, you're going to feed the next loop. And you now put it in that way. As you can see, we're now getting another braid to close up the blanket and finish it off. to do the last and final loop to finish up the blanket and we're just gonna tie a knot and we are done and you're just gonna put in the so this is how much we have left in the yarn we're just gonna put in again the longer part in here and we're just literally making a knot to finish it up and we're just gonna tie so you have your knot and um, you have your knot right there and that's done so for this part there are two things you can do you can just cut it off if you want but what I like to do is for the remaining part that I, I call it like a tail I just go ahead and put that into the blanket like the edges just like this so just like a nice twist in there Now that the tail part and the end of the yarn is now tucked into the blanket, we are all done with our blanket. 
And as you can also see, we kind of have two, I don't want to say two patterns, but different like two sides so this is um, one side of the blanket and this is the other side so this is the side that I was working on like while doing the blanket then once you're done this is the beautiful pattern that you have on the other side of the blanket that concludes this video and DIY project I hope you guys enjoy this project and let me know if you guys end up making a blanket as well i would love to see what you guys need and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope this video was helpful have an amazing day bye